What's up, experts? I'm Vito. I'm the co-founder and CEO here at Adarim, and I'm really excited to take you through uh, our product for uh, Codable Experts specifically. We already have quite a few of you guys that are enjoying the product uh, over the past couple of years. So I'm looking forward to helping even more uh, experts and uh, connecting a little more with the Codable community. I love this community and we hang out a lot in uh, WordCamps and beyond. Uh, so uh, let's just dive straight in. Adarim is a platform that helps uh, web agencies, freelancers, and essentially every digital team to collaborate visually on the digital interfaces and the websites that you're creating. And the way that we do this is, uh, if I'm gonna go to our websites here, um, we're allowing you for two ways of getting started. Uh, you have the quick solution or the simple solution, which is just drop in a URL, any URL, and get started straight away, even without having access to the website. Or you have the plugin, which is the deep solution, can download the WordPress plugin, install it on the website. That is gonna allow you to collaborate on the front, on the back, and inside every admin screen, as well as really being deep connected into the website uh, in a cool way. Let's start by exploring the quick integration. I'm just gonna type in uh, codable.io. Then what is really happening right now in the background is that we're calling the website and we're trying to fetch it uh, so that we can load this up within our interface in a way that can allow you to collaborate straight away. And there it is. Now all that is left is just to click any part of the page and say, um, yeah, here is the text for this uh, title. Right? Or um, this image is using uh, stock photos that most experts can recognize. Let's use real people from our community. And, uh, you know, the, the, and of course, we got to make the logo bigger right here, right? And so in this way, you can just navigate throughout the website and put those stickers on any part of the site. Um, and when you're going to click on them, it's just going to take you to the task and pop it open so you can get started on this. In the background, we're also collecting the screen size, the browser version for the person that created the request so that you don't need to guess or ask. Uh, and for the websites that allow us, we also collect an automated screenshots. This is um, uh, on this solution, we can make it a little better and we're working on that. But on the WordPress side, this is sim seamless. If I want to navigate, I'm just going to move to browse and then I can close this uh, um, cookie notice as well as go through the different pages. And for each page, we're loading the latest version as it loads so that you always have the, um, uh, the most up-to-date experience as you're uh, collaborating. So now that we have the website loaded, we need to get the customer in. The way that we do this is by clicking share, and then we can either drop their email address or share this link with them, which is going to allow them to come in and collaborate straight away with you. Um, I also want to let you know that uh, you can white label the whole experience so that uh, this is not going to say Adarim. And really, everything except for the URL is going to feel like your uh, platform. Now let's go out into back to the dashboard and see some of the other cool things that we have in here. So this is the website that we just added. So the goal of the system is very simple. You just wanna get everything to green. So for example, here I have three tasks that we've created together and here on wordpress.com on this their main website, I have three tasks and so on. And I wanna tackle these requests and I can do that through the inbox or through the Kanban boards. So here I can see the task that was just created together. Uh, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start a timer, move this to in progress so that the clients that are already invited can be notified that I'm actually working on this task, that I can assign it to different team members if I assign team members to this particular websites. In this case, I haven't yet. Uh, and I can view all the tech information that is relevant to this uh, particular site. Now, if I want to see what they're talking about, I can just click on that and it's going to take you there. 
there it is. You can also see that I moved this to in progress in here. And again, once I'm done fixing this request, I can move this to complete and the client is gonna be notified immediately as well. So you don't need to go back, send emails or go to Slack and send a message over there. It's all fully um, automated. And this is really what we're trying to do. We're trying to reduce the friction uh, and the back and forth that happens between you and the people that you're working with. I'm gonna go back to the agency dashboard and we're gonna see that experience on the board as well. So here is the website that we just worked on together. And you can see that now I have two open tasks because we completed one in here. Uh, but the cool thing is that if I wanna see an overview of the project or all of the projects that I'm working on at the moment, uh, I can do that through the Kanban board and it's gonna give me a visual experience of how the project is doing. And then I can just drag things to in progress uh, and of course, click on them to get started and work on each one of the tasks. Now, there's a lot of other things that happen here in the background. As you can see here from the top, we have a, quite a few integrations that you can choose from and, uh, and uh, build this system into your workflow. I want to take you for a ride into the WordPress plugin. So I'm going to go back to the websites here. And I already have a website where I installed uh, Showcase, right? A website that I installed the plugin on. And this is the site, there's 28 open tasks and I can see that this is, this is a WordPress site. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this button which is gonna log me in automatically to this website so I can get started. But we don't have to be logged in or our, at least our clients don't have to be logged in. We have what we call guest mode which allows you to, um, to enable the client to leave annotations and comments uh, on the website without being logged in at all. This is ideal for staging environments or development sites, uh, but not so much for live sites. For that, you want them logging in. And even for that, we have a front end login experience so that they don't need to land inside the gray screen, the WP admin screen. Uh, they are actually directed into where they are invited to work in. And in the same way that we've seen on the other environment here, I'm just gonna click the comment button and I can choose any part of the page to let the other side know what uh, needs doing. For example, I have this little dot here. So I'm just gonna say it's like, uh, what is this little dot here? And I can also move over to uh, the responsive uh, uh, breakpoints and see uh, and see how the experience looks inside tablet or mobile, or uh, going back to the main experience here. Everything that I showed you can be done on the back end as well. So for example, here I have a task on the update that says don't touch this, right? Or we have. Um, a task uh, on this little widget, the site health, says this doesn't really mean anything. Uh, and we can also create internal tasks. So if you can see, we have the tasks like this one that have these little arrows um, uh, in it. That means that this is a task that is not visible to my clients. So if I have something that I want to even remind myself, I can click on comment and then uh, say, uh, uh, remember to remove this section from the dashboard. Then I, instead of clicking on add comment, I'm going to click the internal task button here, which is going to make sure that the client will not be able to see this. If I want to expose this to the client, I'm just going to click this again, and it's going to move this to a normal task. And Let's make this internal again. Again, in the background, we're collecting the screen size, uh, the screen size, the browser version, and an automated screenshot that can allow me to uh, uh, work on these things. Now, if I upload an image here inside the WordPress dashboard, for example, this guy, as soon as the image was uploaded, I can one click to push this into the media folder already minified for web. The same thing I can even do from the dashboard. So if I'm going to go to this site in the inbox, we can see the task that we just created. Remember to remove this and here is the image. And now let's say I need to use this image. I'm going to click on this button and this is going to minify this image for web and upload it directly into the media folder so I can use it from there. The last thing that I want to show you is that here inside the inbox, there's actually a built-in support desk that you can use to get all of the requests from the different clients. Uh, every email can land inside the support desk. And the cool thing is that with 
every incoming email request, we're trying to look for the email address, the incoming email address in any of the assets or the websites that you've added to your dashboard so that we can filter this request into the relevant website so everything is automatically and neatly organized for you to tackle the different requests. But more so, if a client sends a message, uh, it will appear and we can filter it into the right place. It will appear here in the uh, in their sidebar so they can already see all of those incoming requests straight away from uh, a, 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 from their own website, turning their website into the place where you have all of your communications centralized for this particular client. The cool thing about this is that if you already solved a bunch of tasks, for example, here on the front end, they can see that you're doing the work and they can see that if this expert already solved 99 tasks for me, probably the 100th task is not going to be a big challenge for them, which reduces their stress level significantly as you're working with the clients. So there's a lot more to see here, but I'm going to stick to this uh, quick introduction. I would like to invite you all to come into the link that uh, is shared inside uh, Codable and um, um, get started completely for free and experience visual collaboration with your own clients. Finally, if you need any help from us, you can click the little uh, widget here and our team is always happy to help. Um, WordPress experts and really responsive support. And we're here to support you guys and help you work better. Uh, so uh, any feedback or any ideas, any uh, bug reports may even that you may find is uh, extremely valuable to us. So thanks again, and I'll see you inside.